There's a super simple pattern you can use in TypeScript to give you a bit more type safety, and it really doesn't involve that much magic at all. If you're a keen watcher of my channel, you've seen this example before where we have convert to kilometers and convert to miles. Convert to miles obviously takes kilometers and convert to kilometers obviously takes miles. But then if we go further down, we can see that we have some miles here, five miles, and we're converting them to miles. This should be giving us some kind of type error. Well, what if instead of just bare numbers, these were actually objects that contained the number, but also a descriptor of what the unit was. This pattern is called a value object, where you have the value, but it's wrapped inside an object that contains a descriptor for what it is. Now we can convert our functions here to use these objects, where we actually have to return an object saying that this is now a kilometer, and it will only take in a mile. Same is true for the function just down below, convert to miles, takes in kilometers, and returns an object describing that it's a mile. Now then, we have to specifically say that this is a mile before we can pass it in, and we end up with a type of mile and a value of 5, and of course we get the error here too. Argument of type mile is not assignable to parameter of type kilometer. So value objects, while you're creating a couple of extra objects at runtime, it more than makes up for it in how easy it is to use. So value objects, what are you thinking about using them for?